Hey guys, so today I wanted to show something that is pretty interesting. Moving records from Salesforce into AWS, more specifically an S3 bucket. And I'll talk about some use cases right now. So there are many use cases for moving data from Salesforce into these S3 buckets, but mainly a lot of times you would want to consolidate data from multiple data sources. For example, if you would have a multi-org, so you have many orgs in a tied to one organization and you want to do reporting from it, you can move all the data into a S3 bucket and funnel all the data in and make reports from that. You can also back up data from your org into some S3 buckets, and that's important to not lose data. You do not want to store files in Salesforce because they have very strict limits. And I think it's around 20 gigabytes or something or less. And one of the main, a good place to go to is AWS to store some data. So right now we're just going to go through storing some records from Salesforce into AWS. And I'll get into more complicated projects in the future. Hey guys, so here's the demo. So first step is you create the bucket and then we can talk uh, Salesforce AWS bucket one, two, three, and then choose, and then let's go to the end and create the bucket. Okay, so the bucket has been created. Now and the next step is go to app flow. Amazon app flow and I want to create a flow and the flow's name could be Salesforce to AWS and next and I want to choose the data source as Salesforce and then I'm going to create a new connection for example and the connection name could be um, uh, Salesforce to AWS and then so hey guys so this is the connect authentication piece so um, I'm just logging in and it shouldn't be a big deal just allow and the connection has been made and now you can choose any object in Salesforce for this one we're going to do account and we can do destination. It's going to be a S3 bucket. And the bucket could be this one. And you can run it on demand or on a schedule. And then now we're going to do mapping fields. So we're going to do map all fields directly. And there's like 76 mappings. I don't know. It might be different for you because I I have a CPQ dev org right now, so and I guess you can also add a validation rule. So for example, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the accounts on my data and for example, some of my accounts don't have a province. So what I would want to do in Amazon is add a validation and do a field like, so there's no billing state. So billing state is null. And then I want to ignore the record and I should just select all mappings. Okay, next. And then next. And then I'm going to create the flow. So, so here we're going to enter into the flow so you can do view details and run the flow. And the flow is going to be running. And Right, cool. Now I can 
go view the data. And let's, I can't. Okay, and now we can download the file. So this is the data we received from the download and it's a JSON file and I opened it in Excel. And this is the data from the S3 bucket from, and you can up, continually update the records here and it'll continuously change the data in the bucket and you can redownload it at any time. And there was 19 records here. And if I go back to Excel, there's only 17 records. So it worked, the validation rule worked, and thanks for watching.